My name is Carol and I led the Topsy study. Topsy aimed to understand whether self-managing your pessary for pelvic organ prolapse was better for your quality of life than attending clinics. We found that women with prolapse and the health professionals who treat them thought self-management was an acceptable care pathway. The quality of life of women who self-managed was no better and no worse than those who received care in clinic. But women who self-managed experienced fewer complications. We also found that self-managing costs less to deliver within the NHS than clinic-based care. Hi, I'm Margaret. As an NHS patient, you don't often get to peer behind the screen separating all of us from the health professionals. But in 2017, I joined Topsy, a clinical trial as a patient representative. New to me, the methods employed were complex but really interesting, fitting into an established NIHR format led by committees of academic specialists, medical professionals and a few patient representatives. Sometimes I got lost in the process, for example, what even is a HEAP? A health economics analysis plan, of course. I felt quickly confident enough to ask about things that were difficult to understand and had good support from the team. I was impressed by the care and rigour which was applied to every part of the trial. Even with a pandemic raging around us, the whole team persisted and adapted. I became intrigued to see the final results, which revealed self-management and standard care, led to much the same quality of life for women, but excitingly, the self-managers had fewer complications and it also cost less. I feel pleased and proud to have been able to help with Topsy and that it went well. I hope that in the future, other women like me in the UK who are suitable for pessary to help with their prolapse will be offered self-management and their lives are made more comfortable too. I'm Suzanne and I worked along with Carol and Margaret on the NIHR funded Topsy study. This is part of a wider programme of research on prolapse that has been ongoing for 25 years here at Glasgow Caledonian University. One in ten women experience the distressing symptoms of prolapse and our research has provided the evidence base for treatments that can alleviate symptoms and improve women's quality of life. The research has influenced how nurses, physiotherapists and doctors across the world care for women with prolapse and it has raised awareness about the problem amongst women, healthcare professionals and policy makers.